Hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pudhiyalam. Continuing the class series on uh, research methodology and intellectual property rights. That is 21 RMI 56 under uh, Visheshwaraya Technological University. All the colleges which are affiliated to Visheshwaraya Technological University, the fifth semester common to all branches, this particular subject is there. Under 21 scheme, those who have joined uh, engineering uh, uh, under 21 scheme, they are compulsory, they need to go through this. Uh, this is the ninth video of uh, module 1 of uh, this particular subject. This is the last video of this particular module. Okay, uh, next onwards I will start the module 2 uh, video classes. So, here I am giving the important questions indicating the course outcome. Course outcome are uh, mentioned. Uh, in uh, wherever possible because it is outcome based learning and also in indicating the revised uh, blues, Bloom's taxonomy level the question level is the level of question also I am indicating all these topics already covered now the last one uh, ethical issues related to authorship what I am doing I am referring this textbook which is mentioned in the syllabus as the reference book so all uh, faculties will be referring this textbook therefore uh, my videos classes also referring that textbook only so a question paper uh, whatever I frame the question that also referring to that one only and uh, this is the first time introduced there is no previous question paper there is no previous uh, ma material available but this topic is there for, was there for uh, all the researchers who are doing uh, uh, research MS engineering research or even uh, uh, PhD they compulsory gone through this particular course recently some uh, last five or six years it is they studied there are, there are so many subject experts in your institution uh, who are uh, capable of handling this particular topic okay now uh, this the in the context of engineering research ethics uh, describe the ethical pitfalls Okay, uh, ethical pitfalls in academic authorship, their implications on uh, uh, scholarly communications and the shared responsibility among co authors, and evaluate the strategies to address these concerns, providing insights into quantifying individual contributions. The question is indicated one I made. Okay, so it is uh, covering the course outcome uh, CO4 uh, with the level RBT level 4 carries 10 marks and some of the key points uh, referring to the textbook which is uh, framed up is the significance of authorship establishment uh, establishing credit in research ethical pitfall uh, then uh, shared responsibility and uh, quantifying contributions and double submission dilemma okay one by one i am explaining here uh, detailing okay so it looks very small font to me so a little bit uh, rearrangement i'm doing okay now it's uh, visible to me okay so the significance of authorship uh, the point is given academic authorship is central to scholar scholarly communications recognizing and uh, recognition and professional development it serves as the primary basis for evaluating researchers for employment promotion and honors so why we give authorship why we uh, consider uh, ourselves in the uh, as an author okay either uh, i am the one who actually did the experiment or i am the one who was guiding that work or i am the one who did a part of the work or i am the one who did uh, the sentence framing uh, arranging it and writing it in a neat uh, presenting it in a neat way uh, any anybody that what i say who whether i did the research or i did uh, uh, guided or contributed in some other way can become an author of that particular research work okay so establishing the credit in research okay so credit for research contribution it is assigned in three main ways like authorship citation and acknowledging okay authorship being listed an author it uh, indicate or signifies the contribution to the research design or the interpretation, data analysis, analyzing, or even the paper writing. So it establishes both accountability and recognition. Okay, so uh, citation, citation uh, 
uh, he was citing the previously published or uh, uh, the other researchers who have already done some work and we are continuing from that uh, or we are taking some of their ideas uh, to present our idea so we need to cite them we need to give properly citation need to be given acknowledgement uh, it, uh, it, it acknowledges the um, contribution made to do that research or uh, or even uh, identifying some people who helped them uh, who helped us in doing that but they didn't contribute as such so we can even acknowledge them or some of the researchers are funded by government agencies therefore we need to acknowledge that also or some of the research facilities are provided by uh, people we need to acknowledge that also a facility if we are using others facility then also we have to acknowledge now ethical pitfalls in authorship uh, there are several uh, terms which we can use like uh, gust or gift author career boost authorship career preservation authorship boost co authorship reciprocal authorship misrepresentation of contributions okay so ethical pitfall in authorship with the gust or gift author what are these type of authors including authors who have made little or no contribution to the work but still we uh, made them as an author that means we are gifting it or uh, it is a gust author just a gust type or gift maybe it's a gift okay example a name is added to boost uh, someone's uh, career prospect somebody uh, have no time to do research or they don't know how to do research but they need that publication a number of publication to improve in their career therefore this can be uh, type of uh, is observed okay so career boost authorship uh, assigning authorship to the junior faculty or uh, students to enhance their career opportunities is also an unethical practice only uh, we cannot uh, with the, if they are not worked on that means we cannot give the credit okay so credit is given so that they will get a better opportunity or they will get a give better career opportunity thinking that uh, giving that is comes under career boost authorship career preservation uh, authorship uh, adding uh, the uh, the superiors uh, or uh, the head of the institution or uh, deans or uh, others with expecting a benefit in another uh, 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 practice which is can be treated under uh, unethical ghost co-authorship sometimes the actual contributor remains undisclosed due to conflicts of interest within the organization misleadingly labeled as to the ghost co-authorship means uh, they uh, did the actual research work but they left that institution or something or they went they, it, can, it cannot be given to them then they the such type of uh, others will become under this category their name are not mentioned but entire work is done by that person now reciprocal authorship uh, researcher may list each other as co author without genuine collaboration compromising the integrity of authorship means somebody of our friend they are doing some research different research um, we separately doing another set of research whenever we publish paper we giving credit to them making them as author whenever they published in term they are also uh, giving us authorship that comes under reciprocal authorship okay so that also consider as unethical okay now miss presentation of contributions some others they don't play the contribution of others who significantly contributed to the research misrepresenting their roles this uh, they show their power <laughs> that uh, authorship power they have control uh, under under them so they will become uh, the main author the other actually who did the work will be somewhere in the corner okay not given the proper uh, role because when we publish a research paper we need to even uh, indicate uh, individuals role what they did in such situations uh, if if it is misrepresenting 
their contribution uh, it also considered as unethical shared responsibility and uh, consent all the listed authors they share the responsibility for the entire research article okay so it is essential that authors are aware of journal submissions and consent to the content means before we publishing a paper everybody should know that where that paper is getting published everybody should uh, know that what was their role everybody should uh, confirm that uh, their role has been mentioned in that paper properly their consent needed uh, without informing uh, the people who worked with for that particular research for particular project when we publish it we should get the consent consent letters are also there uh, the journals they send the consent letters we need to get the signature from each and every one uh, quantifying contributions uh, effort uh, to quantify individual contribution uh, and associated accountability for each author are appear appealing to address authorship accountability more uh, accurately so you have to quantify uh, how much they work how much contribution they give double submission dilemma uh, submitting a paper to two uh, journals or two forums simultaneously is known as double submission this actually uh, significant ethical concern it aims to increase the publication chances but goes against the principle of publishing original work in reputed journal so that is also comes under the same uh, uh, question as an answer key answer okay that about uh, the uh, answers uh, the key points and uh, my explanation on that uh, you please students please note down these points uh, again go through go back uh, pause the video if you needed uh, note down those points uh, and refer that textbook which is mentioned in these syllabus it is freely available you can download it uh, you can uh, read it uh, a descriptive and a detailed one is given i just took some of the points uh, reading that and uh, i took some points from that and uh, presented here as an uh, key answer okay so once again uh, thank you do please do subscribe to my youtube channel and support me in that uh, way and uh, my youtube channel name is my intuition 4865 myself dr prasad putilam thank you very much